Coons Creek. These, these photos again show some Trout Unlimited volunteers working with Rob Ajo at Hills Creek. Uh, one of the things we're trying to accomplish there is to restore hills to a, uh, a good cold water fishery by remediating historic sand, stamp sand. And uh, you can see uh, Bill and Tom there with, with, uh, with Rob. Um, this coming season, we will be actually working on installing some um, towwood structures in the Hills Creek to help with the trout fishery, help restore the trout fishery. And here's another shot of Hills Creek, and you can see some of our colleagues from the EPA. So that was a Great Lakes Restoration Initiative grant. Um, a lot of people from the EPA participated along with the Conservation District and NRCS. And there's Sue, um, keeping all the books in order with our grant administrator from the EPA. And uh, you can see he's smiling. So um, that's one of the reasons that we are able to continue to bring in these federal grants is because the district is here. More people that, I, that are out at the Hills Creek site right after the restoration, you can see the kind of the uh, the straw on the ground. Um, Amy Berglund is Carl Levin's aide for the Upper Peninsula, and our U.S. Senator Carl Levin has consistently supported all of our grant efforts when we compete against other states to obtain federal monies. And Amy has been just a, a lifesaver in many, many instances of working with us. And also in that picture is uh, Mike LaPoint. Um, and Mike is our regional NRCS uh, person. <coughs> also, along with his staff, brings many, many um, resources to the district and helps us keep things going here. And there's uh, Rob working at Hills Creek. And now I'm going to segue to Rosario Preserve. Um, this photo shows uh, Renata Giannini and her son, Stefan. Renata was our neighbor up at the Lozadro Preserve at Dan's Point, and when she decided that she was going to retire and move south, she approached the district about doing a bargain sale so that we could expand the Lozadro Preserve <laughs> by 10 acres. And she wanted to do this in memory of her, her son Christian, who died prematurely. So anyway, um, another example of people helping us and helping keep lands open to the public in Keelan. Here's another one of our um, both volunteers and workers on grant projects. Um, that's Mark Salo. I mentioned earlier we have a, a U.S. Fish and Wildlife grant to do restoration and uh, boundary marking and botany studies at the Bay Reef Preserve. And there's Mark doing some work this past uh, fall or winter. Another big supporter is uh, Matt Warner. Matt's uh, a DEQ administrator for federal grants and in particular for coastal zone grants. Matt is our, was our grant administrator not only for the Pilgrim River but also for the Bayderry Wetlands Project. And so there's Matt right on the edge of the <coughs> current Bayderry Preserve. And um, after seven years, we were successful in closing on the land that we call Bay Ridge of Wetlands, which is almost 1,500 acres south of Lac La Belle, including some of the sloop frontage on Lac La Belle. And what this picture shows is, it shows our attorney, Jim Tersha, who has helped us in a million ways, a million different times, at the closing with Gene Arntzen, who worked with us for seven years to make Bay Ridge Wetlands a, a, a possibility and make it come true. And then there's Amanda at uh, Copper Range Title who also worked with us through many tricky issues to close on that property. And there's Bayview Wetlands, and uh, there's some um, stalwart, stalwart kayakers heading out to pull um, Thistle, I think it was, uh, as part of the Kisma effort to eradicate invasive species. So with that, I'm going to move on to Central. And there's our project engineer, Rob Ajo, and our contractor. Central is a big project this past year. I'm not going to say too much about that because um, Chad Patti, our fe featured speaker tonight, will talk more about it, I believe. But anyway, um, just a, a, another example of restoring the environment with state and federal grant money, um, cleaning up the Eagle River to 
restore it to a cold water cloud stream, and that uh, is Central. And there's a bunch of the team out at Central, uh, including other folks from the DEQ. And now I've come to the end of what I'd like to say tonight. But again, I just want to acknowledge all of the partners and all the volunteers that have worked with us this year. And this shot is actually a cliff. 